Okay, good morning, guys. This is uh, Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And today we're going to continue on with our theme of polypoid lesions. And um, this is an accessory tragus. So let's just review real quick what the, what the tragus is. Tragus is the area, sort of the thing that keeps your earbud in when you're wearing uh, your Apple earbuds. Is that little piece of cartilage uh, with skin that <clears throat> is just a... Uh, that helps keep the earbud in. And occasionally you can get an accessory tragus, uh, which is when you get an extra tragus. Um, here you got two of them, here's another two, but you can see that it's a lifted, almost polypoid looking, looking structure. Um, now let's take a look at under pathology what we see. So as I said, um, the ear here is pretty pretty firm. It's firm because you have underlying cartilage, and that's what we see here. Now, an accessory tragus, you don't always see underlying cartilage, but um, you, you'll definitely see some other kind of features that can clue you in. That's what you're dealing with. So the cartilage is helpful when it's present. The epidermis is fairly atrophic or thin, I would say, compared to an accessory nipple, which is much more acanthotic. And the, and the other main histologic feature here that is these structures are these structures here. These are velus hair follicles. Now, velus hair follicles are the hair follicles that you find on the face, the finer hairs, almost peach fuzzy, um, or, or over the, you know, sort of the tops of your ears. You can see them there pretty prominently. Um, so these are much smaller in diameter um, compared to regular size hair follicles that you see on your scalp. So these are velus hair follicles. And essentially, in a, velus, um, in a accessory tragus, you have a a rim of velus hair follicles. Um, oftentimes you'll be able to see a rim of adipose tissue and when the cartilage is here, uh, then you got the diagnosis down. Um, but usually you'll find some kind of useful clinical information uh, that it's from the ear and you know what you're dealing with here. So here, this is a little bit more acanthotic. This is just other half of this biopsy. And you can see actually we don't see any cartilage but we see numerous velus hair follicles. So this is a common presentation of this lesion. Numerous velus hair follicles. So velus hair follicles can also be found kind of around the eye. Um, areas on the face are also, um, you know, also where you find this many velus hair follicles. But um, usually lesions on the face don't really present in this fashion. I guess the main differential here would be like a, like a velus hair nevus. But knowing that we're on the ear and we see this adipose tissue here, um, we're good. So this is another uh, velus hair Sorry, this is another um, accessory tragus um, from PATH presenter. And here you can clearly see that we have a central core cartilage, and you can even see this adipose tissue that's sort of rimming this uh, structure. And you can see here clearly why this thing is polypoid. It's like lifted off the surface. And many times the way they, they uh, cut these things out is they kind of yank on this with their hands, and then they uh, snip the base of this lesion. You can see that's probably what they did in this case. Um, and this demonstrates on some velus hair, uh, sorry, accessory tragus, you may not see obvious velus hair follicles, like in this case. Instead, we just see this adipose tissue. You have a bunch of uh, sweat, sweat glandular epithelium. And that's my cell phone going off. So, um... Again, velus hair, uh, sorry, accessory tragus. We have a polypoid lesion, central core cartilage, oftentimes a rim of velus hair follicles and adipose tissue. Thanks, guys. Um, if, this, if you found this helpful at all, please like and subscribe and share it with other people that you think may enjoy this kind of content. Have a good day. Until next time.